welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is baked apple jam. Baked apples is a little small, almost like an apricot color berry that is picked in a mossy mesh land uh, that's sort of boggy. And prime land you will also see the pitcher plant, the Newfoundland pitcher plant that is also growing in that ground. These delicious baked apples we picked just a while back in the, at the last of July is perfect time to pick them because they're partly raw. And I, I was able to get um, a couple of bottles that was fully ripe and these are the ones that we're going to make this delicious baked apple jam for you today. So we're going to get started now on showing you how to make this delicious jam. Um, I got about three cups of um, big apples and I'm going to strain them first into this bowl so that we can start. I don't want any liquid on there um, at the beginning. Um, if we need to add liquid, we will do it during the taping. Okay, so I'm going to count off the cups. We, we're going to be doing three cups. It might be a little over three cups and one third of a cup of sugar. Um, baked apples is a little tart but still got a little sweetness and it's got a couple of these little crispy stones on the inside that um, some people don't like but, uh, but it is also very nice and one third of a cup of sugar. So we're going to be cooking this uh, baked apple berries on a low to medium heat. You're going to stir them occasionally so they don't um, stick to the bottom and we got of course one third of a cup of sugar in there with three, three and a part cup of baked apples. So it's still coming along nice as you can see. Um, it's starting to condense down the liquid and it looks absolutely delicious and smells so good in there. So pretty much what we're doing here now is just condensing down the baked apple jam. Um, we only want so much liquid and this is coming along really nice and it's only on low to medium. We're going to cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Have your mason jars all sterilized, ready to go, warm and that's what we're going to do next. Show you how to bottle it. So what we're going to do now, we're going to start bottling uh, these delicious baked apples. Uh, they look like this when they're, when they're ready. And again, I want to keep them, uh, the berries um, full because that's the glory of this. And it's so tasty and um, it's got that sweet and tart taste. So just keep filling up your jars with the liquid plus the berry. So pretty much when you finish cooking um, these delicious baked apples, three cups would probably give you one and a half cups. It, it condenses down a small amount. Um, so I'm using small mason jars. I kept the heat on the berries while I was scooping it out because I want it for it to continue keeping it nice and warm um, to, uh, to finish bottling it. So this is what they look like in these small jars, absolutely delicious. Okay, so what I'm doing now is cleaning around the edges, the rims of your mason jars, and this is to make sure there's no jam on it to stop it from sealing. And we're going to put each lid on, tighten it. These jars are totally hot. I'm, I'm looking like I'm not feeling the pain of it, but they're totally hot. When these jars start to seal, you'll hear a popping sound, but they will need to be at room temperature for at least overnight. So that's pretty much 
pretty much what you need to do when you're making big apple jam and you don't need to use a lot of sugar and for those of you that can't use sugar and you wanted to use a substitute uh, sweetener just use a small amount um, I used a third of a cup for three cups there probably only use maybe a quarter of a cup because it have got a different taste I got some fresh bread there that I got to use for this baked apple jam. So I'm just going to put a little alping over the top just for you to see um, what that looks like. Absolutely delicious. And this is actually the berry from the vine. Um, I just wanted to keep this one just to show you what the vine looks like. These are fresh berries and this one is raw bake apples that we got in water so they can start to um, b uh, to start to ripe in this bottle and that might take a few weeks maybe up to a month or two so this ends our episode of bake apple jam today i hope you found this episode helpful for you don't forget to label your baked apple jam um, and you can store them after they're sealed in um, your cool pantry or you can store it in your fridge. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to Bonita's Kitchen so more people can get to enjoy episodes like this. Uh, you can subscribe by leaving a link up at the top right hand corner. It will direct you in to what you need to do. You can also visit me on www.bonnitaskitchen.com and also on my Facebook page. Thank you for joining me today for this episode of Big Apple Jam. I hope you found this helpful from my kitchen to yours. You have a wonderful day.